What is up, everybody? The Good Tonight here, and today we're doing, we're doing, we're doing the, we're doing the O Light review. It's um, it's kind of like a staple. Every every channel has to do their O Light review, and uh, contrary to a lot of the other reviews, I actually despise this light, and we're going to talk about why. So um, O Light has tons of good reviews. Lots of uh, lots of people saying fantastic things about it, and um, well, let's let's take a look. The first thing I can say positively about Olight is it has a confirmed kill against the dude who was hanging out in Illinois. <laughs> it is a class action lawsuit because his Olight exploded and lodged itself into his throat, and uh, he died a pretty gruesome and uh, in a terrible way. So um, Olight's got that going for it. That's cool. A lot of people still like that sort of thing, I guess. And uh, additionally, it um. It's from China. Yeah. Like, full-on China. Guangdong, China. I mean, everyone kind of knows that, but, um... They're not necessarily known for, uh... Let's say, safety of the consumer, let's say. So, um... Yeah, when the whole class session lawsuit hit, they're like, uh... Yee, we fixed that. It's good now. You can, you can keep buying it. But yeah, lots of people saying good things about Olight because they have their own influencer program. If you have a YouTube channel or blog that is large enough, Olight will uh, give you like 10% of any sale made through your thing if you have a site. So, you know, uh, Olight uh, backslash dumb goober 69, naturally. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, uh, that's all the positive things we really got to say about Olight. So, on a real basic level, it's... um. It's honestly a pretty mediocre light, and it is technically overpriced. This is a big thing. We make a $30 light, because, you know, production's really cheap, and they found out that, hey, making stupid, powerful, thousand-lumen lights is actually really easy, if you ignore safety. So, they got all those lights made, and they're like, oh, hey, yeah, here's our $30 product. We're going to sell it for $150, but not actually. It's always going to be on sale for $100, so people think they're getting that good deal. So, um... Yeah, more people are interested in buying. So, a lot of design issues with this I don't like. As far as the uh, body builds and stress testing, there is a YouTuber named SwitchPod who did a uh, sort of like toughness comparison between this and the comparative light, which is the Streamlight. I have on my PC back here. The Streamlight ProTac rail mounted HLX, which is another thousand lumen light. That one goes for close to like, was it? Also $100 right now. So, Technically a cheaper light, made from a reputable country. Generally when you're looking at lights, you're looking at, uh, was I think Mod Light was one of the popular ones. But the key, too, that I always think of is Streamlight, because they're pretty cool to make a lot of the uh, cheaper options. And then the higher end is definitely Surefire. Not a lot of people want to dish out the money for Surefire, which is why they end up with lights like this anyway, but when you could also get the comparable Streamlight for the same price, that won't explode <laughs> and uh, won't burst into flames or cause any other problems or be a key component in any form of, like, improvised explosive device, if you were to go the cynical, uh, malaligned actor route, then uh, that's an option too, so. The box is a magnet in it, though, so that's kind of cool. But there's a lot of, uh, safety feature, or a lot of really features, more like issues and concerns that it has when you actually get to the actual Olight. So it comes on this weird... The word proprietary is going to come up a lot in this video, by the way, so. First off... As far as the uh, SwitchPod review went from the testing, the Olight actually did not hold up terribly well. The first thing to break was these uh, two little uh, screws in here because they're significantly less beefy than what Streamlight's using and they're made out of a weaker alloy. So they just kind of like snap and this thing gets loose and broken really, really, really quick. It also uses this proprietary mount, which is low profile, but not really. <laughs> and you can mount it to the side or, you know, underneath at like a 45 angle. That just bolts right in there. What is this? I use that little Allen key right there. You attach that, these bolts on there and it locks it into place to the rail. And then you just take your O-Light. You just slide that in. Pachink. And then you can lock it like so. Um, first, let's get, let's get to the key concerns here. First off, you're probably looking at the back of this and you realize it's not a rubberized protective cap. No! It is a weird charger slash button. And if that sounds like the kind of thing that is uh, grossly unsafe, because it's going to have lots of voltage going through it when charging stuff, then you would be correct. Weird proprietary magnet charging thing and also proprietary batteries. I hate opening this thing. I'm always convinced it's just going to explode, which is why I'm trying to get rid of it. But uh, yeah, we'll get to that. So we have these proprietary batteries. Olight proprietary. Weird sort of like size and shape. So if you don't have these batteries, uh, the rechargeable type, 
you're not going to have a good time. But, good sir knight, I hear you saying, your, um, all lithium batteries have the risk of exploding, don't they? Well, yeah, that's true. And with the explosion that happened, it does seem more so likely the uh, battery's fault than the uh, user. Or not the user, but the, uh, than the Olight. And that's partially true. I mean, the Olight probably let it do whatever thing. Built-in circuit, board, prevents overcharging, over-discharging, and over... That's that little statement there? Yeah, straight out of the, um, straight out of the, uh... And, oh, I don't like that. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't like magnets and electricity doing things together, but, you know, whatever. Alright, so, hoping this doesn't just, like, uh, grenade off and, uh, unexploded ordnance me. Um, yeah, so, the button can be activated by thumb. If you have a lot of, like, sweat and salt and stuff, it could explode, but... You got the full power, you got the low power, depending on how hard you press it. But you also got the remote switch. I do think it's cool that it comes with one, and the thing I actually do like about it is it has this cool little, uh, rubberized rail mount, so you can just slap the thing on there real quick. No tape. No special components, no, nothing too crazy, and you have a quick remote switch. Now you attach that on directly, it attaches via magnet, and it spins like crazy. But you can, you know, clip that down, but you know, you got your light going. If you get any sort of bump or debris or anything, it's going to pull that thing right off, whether you want it to or not. So not a very effective locking mechanism. The uh, switch also only does low power mode, so you're not going to get any, like, crazy high power stuff. Double tap. Or quick tap to stay on, quick tap off, and then the normal press and hold. So it does have a good deal of power. Like I said, making uh, super bright lights turned out to be something very, very easy to do. So naturally China did it, and they sold them to get a bunch of money, and then they paid a bunch of influencers who were relatively successful to be like, hey, why spend all that money on good products when for way cheaper you can get a product that's just as bright but has all sorts of other issues? So, <laughs> okay. I'm so this is going to go on for a bit. So it has this proprietary charger. It comes with your standard little USB port. I got covered. And that just literally clicks on the back there. And then you start loading all this current and stuff into that battery. Safe, right? So you know, exposed electronics, no, no safety or anything. It's whatever. Exploding. So, so it turns out, well, I was also looking into a lot more detail. This video has been a long time in the making, by the way. Looking into more details, there's actually a lot of uh, flashlight enthusiasts, which I would have thought was a thing, but when you take into account lumens, candela, and tons of other words, uh, hot spots, and crazy stuff like that, there's people who get really, 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 really into lights. And they basically said, yeah, it's, it does some cool things, but it's not, it's far from the best, and at the price point, you can do much, much better. Again, Streamlight is what I'm pushing you guys to, not getting paid by them or anything, but just really, I want my fellow patriotic pro-Second Amendment folks to, um, you know, get ge good, good, get, get good, for one, but also get good gear. And this is not good gear if it can explode and potentially injure you. I think I shot a video of a uh, dude was running no light on his airsoft blaster, of all things. Middle of the night game, he's like, hey, I think I see... Just fragmentations and stuff everywhere, and everyone starts screaming, Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, light. Oh, light strikes again. But uh, yeah, so, confirmed kill. Kind of cool. <laughs> not for the guy. Absolutely not. Poor dude. But uh, yeah, so. Oh, lights. The crazy, not very safe magnet thing. But I mean, apparently they haven't exploded in a while. Supposedly they did fix that battery issue and a few other things, but I still really don't trust them. And I'll probably link you guys to the uh, SwitchPod video down below. Now, the influencer thing, I think the influencer thing is really what pushed me to start making this video. Because taking a product, it's had lawsuits and all sorts of uh, significant issues, and then being like, hey, you guys know anything about lights? No, not really? All right, cool. Check it out. I'm going to give you a bunch of money to, you know, shill this for me as hard as possible. Tell everyone it's a great product and uh, make them... <laughs> Convince him to buy it, and you'll get 10%, isn't that cool? Just use the link in the description below. Yeah, so, not not really a fan of all that. Not really a fan of this weird mounting system. In general, just not a fan of this light in general. I mean, if you already bought one, and you're using it, uh, you know, be safe. But also, don't be surprised if it mysteriously combusts. So, that's all I really got. I kind of just wanted to 
drill into o light there for a bit, bring them down a few notches because they're really not as great as people claim. Who knows, maybe they'll fix the thing in the future, but I mean, if you like giving your money to China, I personally don't when it's for like military related things, but I mean, if it's your thing, then uh, you know, but um, even South Park had a few things to say about the, uh, the CCP that I wholeheartedly agree with, so that's all I got for you guys. It comes in this uh, cool box and tells you it does this weird ba it does this weird power step down thing. But the longer it's going, it's gonna start going into a weaker and weaker setting to give you extended life. But at that full announced maximum hundred one thousand two hundred and fifty lumens, yeah, that lasts for like a grand total of was it like six minutes? Five? Yeah, six minutes. You got your whole step down thing, it's going down. So you only get that 1250, that thing that they're really like, hey, this is a really big deal. You get six minutes of that. Then you gotta recharge it and hope it doesn't explode and burn down your house. Then you got 11 minutes of 900, 39 minutes of 700, and then 14 minutes at that last 200 lumens. And okay, so the whole lumen thing. It's nice to have a lot of lumens, will let you see through like smoke and crazy chaos and stuff. But when you come into a house with like white walls, you're doing anything indoor, a lot of that's going to reflect right back in your eye sockets and you're going to blind yourself. All you technically need, I think they did some studies of it, all you, like the minimum amount of lumens you need to get that whole blinding effect and stun and disorientate people is 150. Pretty small number. 150 does it. So that's why a lot of the, uh, you know, the handguns, sure, uh, stream lights, and surefires and stuff, they're all down like 250. I think even some of the, uh, the, uh, was it, the surefire I'm using on my rifle, it only does like a maximum of 350, so not a ton of power, but gives you great lighting and pitch blackness and low light scenarios and lets you really see everything you need to without any chance of uh, blinding yourself and also only blinding what that light is pointing at, which is pretty cool, so. This is such a weird design, but that's all I really got for you guys today. Olight, Oda Mini. It's bright, but the key thing here is there's other significantly better options on the market, and that's really why I'm bringing your attention to you. And I'm sure there'll be plenty of comments. There's a thing, it's called uh, Buyer's Remorse, so if you already have an Olight, um, there's going to be a strong need to defend owning an Olight when an argument comes in to say, hey, they're actually not that great, and they could potentially kill you. So, that's all I got for you guys. Um, I don't know if you this got that cool uh, rib sort of like drill bit front going on to it, so that's cool, I guess. But yeah. Um, oh, also, if these turn on while they're in like a dark place or anything with flammable material, things with that many lumens, they tend to get pretty hot and they could start fires. So, you know, don't burn your house down unless you got really good insurance. And uh, insurance fraud is bad. But that's all I got for you guys. Cheers, stay chivalrous, and uh, I will see you next time. Um, buy good lights, buy good gear, and then train. Do a lot of training. If the guy wearing and using the gear isn't up to the gear standards, then it's just really expensive weight that you're carrying around. So, cheers. See you guys later. Bye-bye.